What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. This is your boy Jay Reed. So check it out, I'm already out here today working on the city. What I'm doing today is number one, I'm taking these wheels off so I can go get some tires put on. And then I'm trying to fix this lug nut. Lug nut, this stud. So I've been on the internet and I think I can get this off without taking off this whole assembly like most people recommend. Um, so we can fix it and see if I can beat it off and put another one on. I gotta go get another one. But let's see if we can do that. Okay, so I'm in the car. I am going to get these tires put on the wheels. And I need some tools because this is going to be more of a job than I thought to get those uh, to get that stud got stud out. But if I can get it out this one time, man, this will make it easier any time that I have to replace a stud. So it may be worth the trouble if I can get this to work. But in the meantime, I'm fixing to head to Harbor Freight, and I'm fixing to find somewhere to get those tires mounted up. Okay, fam, so I'm back from the store, took a shower and different clothes and everything. Now I'm fixing to get musty all over again. But I'm back from uh, Harbor Freight. I didn't get my tires done because everybody was too busy. And the little uh, shakes in the tire places, they wanted cash only, I ain't had no cash. So we'll do that another time. But in the meantime, I went to Harbor Freight, got a bag of goodies down there, and we are about to get to work. Uh, some of this stuff I just needed in general, but we got some, some of those bits. We're gonna see if I can do if those work, we're gonna see. I don't know what this is. All this other stuff I just needed. Some gloves, safety glasses. So we fixing to see if we can Dremel this stud out. That's basically what I'm fixing to do. Probably need to change into my old short. Let me do that. And we're gonna get to work. <sighs> yes, it took a minute, but I got it out without taking off the hub. I just drilled enough off of the edge of the screw and that, was, and that allowed me to tap it on out. Now we're fixing to cut off a little bit of the edge of the new one so it'll slide right in. So let's get to that. But first I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna cut it and then I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about. Hey guys, so we are back from another auto part run. The problem that I had was the lug nuts, the stud that I was supposed to, that was supposed to work for this car was too small. So I had to go on a stud run and it took a minute to find the right one. And I don't even know if this is the right one. But we got the old one out and we fixing to put this new one in. The first thing that I need to do is Dremel off a portion of this top so it'll go smooth on next to the axle. If not, it's gonna go in cricket or it's not gonna go in at all. So we gotta Dremel off a little bit of that and that's what I'm fixing to do now. Okay, so I don't know if you can see it or not, but I Dremel this much of one side off. There you go. So I'm hoping I can slide that by the axle and put it in and we are fixing to find out. Now, I don't know if you can see this or not, but I'm a I am having to take off just a little bit off of the hub. This is half ass, but I'm just taking a little bit off. Not like, not as much as what I've seen in some videos, but we just gonna shed a little bit off because the bolt is almost in. Okay, so as you can see, the stud is almost through. Now all I gotta do is put this on there and then put the lug nut on there, use the impact wrench and slowly pull it through. So let's go on and do that. Okay, so we got the stud in there. Now just to re-explain what I was doing, you put a wrench on there. Some people say washer. We're doing, we're using a wrench as a washer. You put a lug on there. Then, where is it at? You take your impact gun. Uh, you take your impact gun and you tighten it down. This pulls that stud through. Take a lug off, and it'll come right off. You ain't gotta worry about, about it sticking on there. That's the whole purpose of the washer. Take that off, and that stud should be pulled through. Let's take a look. I don't know if you can see it. It's probably a little bit more to go, but um, when I tighten the wheel on, it'll get all the way up in there. Or I may take the, um, just take a wrench and manually put it, uh, get it better on there. In fact, I think that's what I'm, what I'm gonna do. But as you can see, I really didn't have to take that much off the hub. I did mess up the the uh, dust the brake dust cover thing a little bit, but fuck that. I saved myself a ton of time. If you already have your tools, this job would be a whole lot easier. So let me pull this through a little bit. 
before I put the wheel back on, I still, it still got daylight, so I'm gonna go and get these tires put on, and we'll be done with this project, put the brakes back on, and whoop the boot. We got the brake caliber back on, and now we are ready to go get the wheels, the tires installed on the wheels. But before we do that, these studs, these, this is the stud that I had to get. It's a 16 3112. If you try to get the stud for a 91 Civic, DX, LX, Integra, 93 Integra, whatever it is, if you have a B-Swap, I don't know what kind of stud this is, but it was not the stud that comes up in everybody's system that belongs in the car. It is actually a 16 uh, 312 stud, just so you know, if you ever have to replace these studs, it may be you may run into a problem. But anyway, these work that's in there. My nuts work on it, so we all straight. Let's go get these tires. So I was going to change the oil today too, but I think I've done enough for today. I'm off all next week, so I plan on doing all of this next week, but I didn't, I did it today. So I think I'm gonna change the oil next week and whatever else I need to do, which means I should be able to get it inspected fairly quickly. Now, if this shit don't pass inspection, I'm gonna be mad as hell. Okay, we are back at the house. I got the tires all mounted up on the wheels. I'm gonna show you what they look like. Boom. Now, do not look at the brand. These are 4 CMs. 4 CMs, Hina. You probably seen the 205-5015. You probably seen what the hell is a 4 CM? I don't know. Don't ask, because I don't know. But the reason why I got them, I think I said it in another video, is I need to get some adjustable upper control on. Because the ones that are on here are stock and they're not adjustable. And with car overs, the car is lower, so I got too much camber, and I don't want to get any good tires, because I don't know when I'm going to get the adjustable uh, upper control on. So in the meantime, I bought these cheap tires so I can go ahead and get it inspected. But once I get the uh, control arms, I'll move these to the back and then get some sticky tires of front so don't laugh there's a method to the madness but we fixing to put these back on and it's gonna be wrapped up for the day it's gonna be wrapped up before i put these back on i'm gonna raise the front up just a little bit more because these tires got thread on them and i don't want to mess up the fenders any more than what they are now they got a little bit more thread which is gonna make them a little bit taller which is gonna bring the car closer to the fender so i'm gonna raise it up the front up just a little bit more. And I hope that my theory is correct. Otherwise, I'm gonna be hot rolling. Okay, fam, I think that's gonna wrap it up for this video. It's been a long day. We got the Civic. We got all of the hard work done on the Civic today. So there won't be much to do next week. Easy stuff to do next week. We got the Faroka sights. Tires on there actually look good. Still need to torque the, uh, the lugs down so I ain't gonna be driving until I do that. But I left my torque wrench in my vet. And the vet is at the shop. That's going to be a whole nother video. Anyway, this is your boy Jay Reed. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Peace. Ooh, I like this shit right here.